My name is Rachel Riss. I am in my sixth year in the Feminist Studies PhD program at UCSB. I've done, I would say, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 video consultations. My name is Jenna Santi. I am uh, an anthropology graduate student, and I've done about 40 video consults uh, since the beginning of this school year. My name is Heather Macias, and I'm a fourth year PhD candidate in education. I think I've done between 30 and 40 video consultations. Instructional development offers video consultation for TAs because it's just a really sort of um, low pressure, low intensity opportunity to sit down and talk teaching one-on-one um, -on -one with a teaching consultant. There's a number of reasons um, why people would wanna get a video consultation. Um, one of the reasons is that it helps prepare you for a lot of the other types of feedback that you'll be getting um, on your teaching. So later on in the process, you know, as you're looking for jobs, um, as you're putting together portfolios that contain a teaching component, um, that's really a chance to get some feedback before that sort of critical moment um, in the process. A lot of times graduate students will come in and expect that it's you know, me going to be telling them, okay, here's what you did wrong and here's what's you, what you're doing poorly. But really a lot of what I do is just help them see themselves, um, help them ask critical questions about their teaching that they maybe would not ask without somebody sort of probing. One of the biggest impacts that you can make as a video consultant is like getting over that barrier of actually watching the film together. Even though when you're up at the front of the room you feel like all eyes are on you, the students don't remember the mistakes that you make. They have a lot of classes, they have a lot of instructors, they don't remember. I think that a lot of TAs are just really hard on themselves um, and they're really concerned with small little minutia or details that honestly the students probably aren't even picking up on. One thing that TAs can do to continue to develop over time is to really take the time to reflect on their practice. If you actually build into the time that you spend teaching, time to reflect on what went well, um, the things that you wanna keep doing, the things that you know you wanna change already, um, that that's one of those ways where it's never done. You know, like it, it's part of a process. And as long as you're sort of building that, being conscious of that, um, that's gonna have an enormous impact in the future. You absolutely can come in multiple times during your teaching career, maybe once at the beginning, once in the middle, and then once at the end. And this is a, a really sort of easy way for you to track your progress with a teaching consultant who can help talk you through it. One way that a decent teacher can become a great teacher over time is to reflect on their teaching practices and be willing to see themselves as a learner in terms of how to improve their teaching. So pick something that you want to improve each quarter and try to find new ways to do that or better ways and more efficient ways um, to do that one thing. To go from being a decent teacher to a great teacher is to ask everyone for feedback. You know, ask your advisors for feedback, ask your colleagues for feedback, ask your students for feedback. The students want you to succeed. Do the best you can to realize that they're on your side um, and they're excited to hear what you have to say.